My name is Naysan Safa. I serve with UN Environment. And in the first instance, it's my real duty and pleasure to thank our esteemed hosts, the government of Mexico, for this wonderful evening. And also, absolutely. We are firmly committed to the Aichi Goal 11, which we are expecting not only to, to achieve it, but to, to actually go way above it by 2018 with the protection of 17% of our Mexican land zone and more than 20% of the marine and coastal areas of Mexico. We will now <coughs> honor six individuals who have made extraordinary efforts to protect planet Earth. This is the highest reward given for environment action from the United Nations. As we enter the most critical period of environmental action in human history, our task is to inspire everyone around the world to become champions of the Earth. We look forward to working together to reach even greater heights as we strive to make the world a better place. This nomination will inspire the other countries to go further and forward to integrate renewable energy capacities in their mix. And thank you for that. I would actually uh, say that this uh, accolade is dedicated to every citizen, every volunteer in Mumbai, at Warsaw Beach, who's helped me pick up each plastic piece from the ocean and back to the segregation center. This is to them, to all the citizens and volunteers who are working around the globe to keep our oceans clean. Make no mistake, design is one of the most powerful social influences that scripts and shapes every single moment of our lives on this planet. And therefore, it has the power to destroy and create. Berta, estás amenazada de muerte día tras día. Deberías irte un tiempo. La respuesta de ella fue, nunca voy a dejar mis convicciones, ni nunca voy a dejar de defender a los pueblos indígenas y al medio ambiente, aunque me toque morir. Too few people understand the urgent need to protect biodiversity or that we can only protect it by sharing knowledge across disciplines. Our lifetime achievement tonight goes to a young gentleman, Dr. Jose Sarohan Kermas. what's happening. I maybe don't want to know how it happened. And uh, it, it makes me very proud, certainly. And it makes me proud to share it with a score of colleagues that represent what I think is necessary in any society, in any country, to advance in the protection of nature. Thank you very much again. As we welcome our uh, 2016 Champions of the Earth to join you for the rest of this wonderful reception, it's my great pleasure also to acknowledge in the audience tonight, if they haven't left us yet, two former Champions of the Earth. Ms. Julia Carabias, former Minister of Environment of Mexico, and Ms. Patty Ruiz Corzo, true champion of the environment and activist.
to be honest, like getting an award like this is incredibly humbling and I'm very, very grateful. But at the same time, it's actually just more of a mission to be able to see more people like me on a stage like this, receiving things like this. Because, you know, there, there isn't a lot of opportunity for a lot of people to activate their own agency in the world and to see the role that they can play. And with the, my story of where I started from and how I ended up being in a position like this is really a lot of tenacity and tears. So for Mexico, it's very important to host the Champions of the Earth Award. Also in this, within the, the, the COP13, Mexico is taking a lot of steps towards uh, preserving biodiversity. And for us, it was very important to also invite other sectors like agriculture, forestry, fishing, and, up, and of course, tourism, for them to start taking into consideration biodiversity in their own agendas. It's a great feeling. I'm quite excited. I'm humbled as well. It brings you down to earth and it, this award brings a lot of responsibility. It's just not about my, my mission of cleaning the ocean gets on a higher scale with this award. For, for me, it's more efficient, high level of work from now on. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm happy, but this award brings a lot of responsibility on me now further. I just hope to push it long enough so younger people come and I keep doing it and I hope that will be my last responsibility. <laughs> eh, gracias eh, por, por lo que PN, el Naciones Unidas y Ambiente está haciendo en reconocer a nuestra hermana Berta Cáceres y como familia para nosotros es eh, algo muy emocional, eh, de mucho peso para poder seguir la lucha que Berta eh, tenía, para poder seguir las convicciones y servicio que ella tenía para la comunidad y para el ambiente. Eh, eso significa mucho para nosotros. I thank the United Nations and especially United Nations Environment for recognizing our sister Berta Cáceres. For us as a family is a very important recognition uh, of the struggle of Berta Cáceres in favor of uh, the uh, vulnerable and uh, an example um, for us to continue with the uh, work uh, in favor of the public. <laughs>